Yeah. The homies from all the way from Dallas, Texas came through. Yo, I put sirens all the way to <laughs> the kids. <laughs> and he pulled up in the cop car in his whole uniform. Hey, no? We got here, we got here. Syndicate Tees, baby. No, with the homies, had to come check them out. Now we're gonna show you the owner of the store, the main owner, uh, my boy Chris Rodriguez. The Cactus Plant Free Market Dunks, unreleased. Who knows when they're coming out? Yeah. For this one, I only get 200 credit from my gallery department. But if I win, I get 300 credit. So, see how it goes. A one, a four. What's up, Dolphin Case from Montreal? You already know, you guys were the Centrals. The homies came back from Texas. You know, laboratory, check them out. They did a big trade right here. What's up, guys? So, we're starting a new segment of giving you guys a little backstory on each one of us. We're all gonna tell you how we got into the game of like sinkers and all that. Uh, now it's four o'clock, Thursday. Episodes live. Make sure you catch that. So in the comments, people been wondering what happened to the fit checks or what happened to the staff fits, whatever. So we'll do it on the episodes. We're back with the mean comments. It's over, bro. The series is over. Y'all think that comment. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back. Syndicate Los Angeles. No, I'm kidding. Los Angeles, we're back. It's Thursday. We got a couple things to do. We got the homies from all the way from Dallas, Texas. Came through, show some love. They're going to record us a little bit, ask us a couple questions, hopefully. We get to show them around the store a little bit. But, you know, we're excited. We're excited. It's, it's, it's already an event for Thursday. You know, we're excited. We're, we're going to post some stuff. You know, we got some size four unions that a couple people hit me up for. 1200 bucks. You got to understand that you look at your, on your favorite app, they're a little bit higher. But nonetheless, we got that. We got Cause Force going out right now. Black Cement 3. We got a couple people waiting outside. So, yo, stay tuned. It should be a good day. Let's go. What are you picking up today, bro? You're the first in line. Cause, you already know. The fives? Uh, the fours. The fours, the fours, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Good pick, man. What are you guys getting today? Uh, I'm here for some Black Cement 3. Black Cement 3 is nice, nice. You so, we're about to sell some shoes, that's pretty much it. Nice, nice. We got some pandas? Yeah, Pan nah, just some, some little dumb hearts. Oh, for sure. For sure, man. Sounds good, man. Yeah. We got right here, we got right here. Syndicate tees, baby. Alright, yo. You already know how it goes. We're on the block again. Beautiful day in LA. It's Thursday, we're in Chinatown. The homies from Laboratory down in Texas, they came through, we're filming a little bit. They came through to say what's up. Uh, hope it's another good day today. Staying blessed, staying happy, staying healthy. Make sure y'all drink your water. Stay tuned for today's episode. Sit back, relax, and see a couple snacks, bro. I posted the trash for Rita on our 2000 post. <clears throat> And he literally, he came like, he came like five minutes late and I was just like, yo, he's just like, yeah, because that's his size. And he's just like, yo, I put sirens all the way to <laughs> the <kids." laughs> And he pulled up in the cop car in his whole uniform. And he no, took the he, no, oh, he didn't, no, he didn't get oh. on, he was late. Oh, <laughs> to me, it was late. just hilarious that yeah. he literally said, yo, sirens all the way to Syndicate. Yeah. <laughs> 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 he was like, yeah. Syndicate, you know, with the homies, had to come check him out. Now we're going to show you the owner of the store, the main owner. Uh, my boy Chris Rodriguez. Go ahead and introduce yourself, man. What's up? My name is Chris. Everybody calls me Bruce. You can call me whatever you want. I don't. I don't mind. Um, so we're here at Syndicate in Chinatown. What you got right here, bro? Uh, All right, bro. I got the Cactus Plant Free Market Dunks unreleased. Who knows when they're coming out? So my name's Landon, the owner of the Laboratory, Dallas, and OKC. Coming in, trying to get cash, credit. We got, they got some good steals, so we'll see what we come out with. Uh, I heard they were on the mall. Is that true? Super small. Well, I'm a nine. It's really like an eight. Nice. What'd you want for them? Hey. Trying to get 3500 I couldn't find any market on them. No, you can't. I didn't want to overpay it, so I was Size? Uh, eight and a half. So your only size nine on the market. But please, check out Syndicate, man. Came all the way from Dallas. Yeah. Hit up Briz, he was like, yo, pull up, man. We gotta do a little video. So, check out, check out Lab. If you're in Dallas, Laboratory Dallas. Right there, heart of Greenville. Can't go wrong with it. Sick shot, man. Fuck, crazy. Oh, I love your favorite shoes. They're cool. Oh, it's open, you're looking. Oh, he's trying to sell these, too. 
Dude, Hey, right, Chris, what we got right here? So the homies from Texas pulled up. They brought some heat. Momus, rest in peace, Virgil. The shoe in New York was a movie. Movie. Like, it was, it was kind of easy to get if you tried. Everybody had these, but I, I bet every reseller in New York regrets selling them because they were selling them for like $600. Use now at least two thousand dollars. But the real gem. I don't even know what these are called. Cactus plant. Dunk part two. I don't know. Fire. It's cool. Not my size, size 9. You keeping those prices on? No, that's not my size. I'm a 10 and a half. If I wanted three, I can't come up that much because I would sell them at 25. Yeah, so I'd probably I can come up to like 22 credit because I'm gonna put them at 25. What is this? Oh, you want these? I don't even know if it includes like four or six. Yeah. Uh, coming from Dallas, Laboratory GTX, I just traded in the MoMAs, but uh, I traded up for these right here. Got a little bit of credit and I got the cash difference, you know, they gave me 2200 credit. My homie wanted to give me three for them, but I mean, I need cash now, so I was ready to sell them. So, good trade up, glad we came through. Still stop, so. So if, uh, if, if Bruce wins, I only get 200 credit from my gallery department, Eddie. But if I win, I get 300 credit. So, see how it goes. Yeah. I'm gonna roll first. All right. Not how you man, get this roll. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> A one, four. I kind of want to keep the vibe to play it safe. Yeah, yeah. We got a strategy. Oh, we got a now. I'll take these two back. I'm not getting yeah, enough, like, yeah. There we go. Damn, that's a good one. Come on, get a six, get a six. Oh, that's yeah, all. Right. 22. 22. Oh, that's a strong 22. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, I'll pick you up on it, you know. Oh, he got a good ass roll. We got one. We got a couple six. But you still need a four. Just make sure you gotta get a four. Oh, I do gotta get a four. Yeah, not right now, but I'm saying on your next three rolls that you have. Okay. You got your four. Oh, All right, cool. So you can roll again. Yeah. Oh, All right, oh my oh. God. He needs right. to get a five to tie or a six to win. Tie or six wins. Let's get it. Damn, let's right. get it. What? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> 200, let's run it. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Appreciate it. <laughs> hey, that was, that's a fun ass game. It, it looks crazy on the video. It's like, damn, like, what the you playing, but then you really play. It's it's a good ass gamble. It's like it's like semi strategy, yeah. but then like semi luck. Yeah, because like, I was like, all right, let me get these big numbers. Yeah. But that last one is where it really hits you. Exactly. What's Manny like three for three? Man? Like, <laughs> nah, nah, man. Nah, nah, nah. I, I, I've, I've lost a lot. I right. lost the damn trophy from this man. So. Yeah. I'm Crazy. You still have them or what? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like probably the, they were the first shop in Oklahoma City in 2016. And uh, from there they branched out to Dallas. And that's when I was out there and I joined their team. And in Dallas, uh, at the time, there was only like two shops, two, three shops. And so we had one of the bigger locations. And uh, I think the only other shops there that I would say that are pretty known would be Lab Us. Um, there's another one called PCH LA. Yeah. And uh, the third one will be Knowledge. Yeah, they're in Deep Yeah, and They're all in different locations. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, so, so it's, it's pretty like Dallas, dope. just kind of split up a little Yeah, but here. everything's like 10 to 15 minutes away, tops. That's good, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I've never been one like opposed to like the fucking competition because yeah. I'm mean, obviously coming down from Melrose. Like, yeah. we kind of all had to deal with it. Exactly. But yeah. I like the, like, you know, it's a little more distance. Yeah. 10 to 15. So, exactly. you know, people kind of. That's what I love this for because it's like, it's something different. You feel me? It's not the craziness of like Melrose or Fairfax. Because like, it's old like, after a while. You Quick, like, too. Yeah. It gets like mad overwhelming. Like, I mean, how many times do I see the same story like six, exactly. seven times? Like, no offense to nobody because they're killing me. Like, yeah, no, they're killing me. Yeah. And obviously, I was a part of the whole thing. Yeah. But, like, 
they were just you know, it's a little overwhelming. Like yeah. when we when we left round two, we were like, let's go check out every store. Yeah. We've never been down the block. Yeah. Me and DC went, and we were just like, damn, it's a lot of it's like, a lot of stores. it's a lot yeah. of stores, it's a lot of stuff, it's a lot of clothes. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't even be able to like really make up my mind. I'd be like, I'm so overwhelmed. I gotta, I gotta take off. That's how I feel, bro. Like I could never like truly be in one store, man. Yeah, right, yeah. Fairfax and be like, damn, let me see if I can genuinely look around. Oh, yeah. You can't, you know, it's so much people. So well, there's so many people. Yeah. Two is like so many like options, so it's just kind of hard to like, you know. I feel it. But yeah, definitely overwhelming, but dope. C congrats to them, right? That's just, but y'all coming in out here though. Yeah, Thank you, dog, for sure. Appreciate So the homies came back from Texas, you know, laboratory, check them out. They did a big trade right here. Got some goodies. Yeah, man, going back to Dallas. Shout out, Briz, Matt. Manny, guns, easy. Off white twos. Two pairs of cool grays. Home runners. You cannot tell LA just gives people what they want, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, we're taking all this back home. Hope y'all enjoy it. It's about to be crazy. Yeah, man. Check out Syndicate, though, for sure. Yeah, definitely Appreciate check out. Yeah. Syndicate LA, baby. All right, guys, so we want to thank real quick the homies from Dallas at Laboratory, homie Steven, for coming down, checking us out, and obviously you know, getting a little look and a little tour about, about the store, of the store. We appreciate you for coming down. Always, man. Anytime you guys are over there, please make sure y'all check them out. Huge store, good fucking store, and uh, go get some shoes from them. Get some, you know, gallery, so some clothes, whatever it is. <laughs> yeah, we got it, man. Shout out Syndicate for having us, man. Like I said, they killed the shop. You know, super dope seeing homies that, you know, started off like at round two and stores like that, branch off and do their own thing. Support your locals, support their brand, like and share their videos, TikToks, all that, man, they're killing it. Thank yeah. you, sir. Always, bro. I appreciate you, yeah, man. Randy, so you showed us a shot, bro. You know, y'all killed it. You know, look, the design looks insane. Like, the selection is insane. Uh, just a quick question for you and also the guys, you know. Um, where do you guys see yourself in like five years from now? You know, what's your, what's your long term goal, I guess I could say? Damn, honestly, I, I would want to see us like opening another city, hopefully New York, like that, and that's possible. You right. know what I'm saying? Something like that. And then really just kind of focus on getting those two worked out. And I feel like that's where, for now, some we spoke about, mm -hmm. I feel like that's what we want to do. You know, really just kind of lay down the foundation and then, you know, get it going and hopefully, you know, really push the brand a little bit more just because I think that's one of the things we're also focused on. Right. And, uh, you know, and then just kind of see where it takes us, you know what I'm saying? Like, definitely focus on the direction, on the right direction. And then, you know, if New York's possible, we'd love to do that. Sure. That's now I gotta come to Dallas. Come to Dallas with me. We gotta check out Dallas, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know, what's out there. So yeah. you know, Don't sleep on Dallas. Nah, never, never, never. We're always very open-minded, you know what I'm saying, to everything. Because it's like, you know, you have uh, to be. I see it though, man. Like I said, y'all said y'all are super consistent with it. Some of the best prices in the game, for sure. Like Thank you said, I, I can definitely see you having one. Oh, and, you know, congrats to y'all, man. Thank you. Yeah, sir. always. I appreciate you. Yes, sir. My guy. Yeah. Where you get scoot in? Yeah, back. There you go. My knees are going to blow. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. One more. Three, two, one. I got it. All right. Goats. Appreciate you guys. Wow. Cool. Bruce, thank you, bro, for everything. Sure, man. Nice meeting you. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. You're out there. I'm right, Thank you, bro. Nice meeting you. Thank you for coming yeah. Appreciate all the content, man. Hi, right, man. Hi, right, bro. Good meeting you. Right, Thank you, guys. Till next time, What's your guys' sneaker store called? Laboratory DTS. Yeah, what's your name? Jason. Nice to meet you, bro. Nice to meet you, bro. Hi, Jason. Yeah. Nice to meet you, man. Y'all have a good one. Appreciate y'all having us. We want to do more stuff like this in the future. So, yeah, tap in Laboratory DTX and Laboratory OKC. Check us out. Oh. Have a good one. Be safe out there, please. Let you know me airdrop y'all this photo real quick. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. We out, man. Let's go. We're going back to Dallas with this shit. Syndicate LA, baby. What's up, Dolphin Case from Montreal? You already know, you guys were the Central, so you just came by Syndicate. I got a t shirt and I was about to grab the shoes. I put them on the side to continue looking around. Someone else grabbed them with store credit. He sold them to me right, a, right away for the same price. So, good experience, good service here. Yeah. I'll definitely be back. And then we don't know. See, maybe see you in Montreal. Peace out. And what's the name of your shop? Oh.
I forgot, Central Montreal, we've got a store in Montreal, Laval, St. Bruno, Sherbrooke, Quebec, five stores in the province, and uh, one more by the time you'll see the video. Dude, you've seen it before? So it's like a famous fucking This right here, friends and family. This right here, general release. GR. Friends and family. That's what we need first, right? But you like, new syndicate merch. Should you release it online? Maybe. <laughs> First online drop right here. Yes, sir, Skate. I got some work to do. <laughs> what we got right here, Manny? Little gallery. Literally a little gallery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> little short. No, but it's gallery. good. It's good. It has a good like. And he's trying to convince me on it. The homies from Dallas came through. They want to play a little one four two four. And what you see me see me wearing is actually a victory. You'll see later on in the show, or maybe you probably already saw it. But one four two four, I got twenty two. I think he got. What did he get? What did I get? Twenty two. What did he get? He got. Uh, he didn't get high enough. Okay. He didn't get high enough. So, you know, we won this, and I might just take it home because Andy Andy said it looks good. It looks what do y'all think? What do y'all think? Is it, is it good? I think it's good. I think it makes him. Hey, it makes you look a little. Not, I'm not saying anything bad. It makes you look a little slimmer. Cold. <laughs> it's good actually, it's good. It's a little, so it's a little crop. I might keep it. Shout out to the homies from Laboratory in Dallas. Yes, sir. Maybe I got me a little hoodie, you know, a little workout hoodie. Yeah, gotta be a workout hoodie. <laughs> All right, if you guys don't know, last episode, last, last episode, we said, uh, obviously, if we get to 1,200 subscribers, 1,000 likes, I'll get a free Travi one. <laughs> Turns out, y'all did a good job. Y'all went hard in the comments. We got 236 likes. Most we've gotten, then we got up to a thousand something subscribers. So we, we kind of missed the mark, but you know, they played me. Somebody came in and bought the seven and a half. Travis's bro. So I was like, man, y'all played me bro. How you gonna sell the shoe that I wanted? So now <laughs> we gotta figure something out. I do it real well. Help y'all out, help y'all get something. Cause forget me bro, apparently. But you know what? Hopefully, we'll figure something out. Briss is out doing errands right now, so we'll figure something out. If you guys get us to a certain amount of likes and subscribers, we'll try to give away something to y'all. I'm gonna hopefully get the shoe back somehow, but for now, we need Jowns. Bring Jowns in, new balances, new ones. But yeah, just wanna let you guys know what happened. They sold. I was like, all right, never mind. I don't need them then. But thank you guys anyway for the likes and subscribers. New giveaway coming soon, and then new stuff coming soon. <laughs> Went to uh, my homie's uh, studio or showroom. Um, his name is Justin Reed. Check him out. He's cool. Check about this. A little fun fact: uh, I put Briss on to Justin Reed. Now, me and Justin Reed are actually good friends. <laughs> um, I met him through round two. You know me. Oh, where'd he go? Where's the thing at? Oh. <laughs> Get him in, boys, you know? Hey, you know, hey, yeah, you doing Balenciaga. I had to switch it up on him. Let's take this to the same guy. All right, bro. What do you think, it's your cop? Is it a good fit? Cool, so these are our new Syndicate Museum shirts. Ugh, very happy with these low key. They look good, good wash. This is, this one's not for sale. This is for sale. Um, it's cool, I really like this logo. Obviously you guys see the hat in this next episode we're about to air. Um, but yeah, really happy with it. I'm really, really, really like focus on the brand low key. Like I love being able to like design stuff that like, or be helped with too, like designing our own stuff. So because you like, obviously you get all the same stuff everywhere. Like Supreme, there's so much of it. Palace, there's so much of it. Babe, there's so much of it. I still love the brands. Like Supreme released a lot of cool stuff today. Like the BB Simon stuff, the dunks I need, but <laughs> I, I want people to come in here and be like, oh, there's something else that's still very cool. Which, something like this. So yeah, these will be releasing on Saturday. 
fifty dollars. Can't go wrong. <laughs> me, skinny, and me redid the whole size label too. Tells you how to wash it and how to make it more vintage. Whoa! No, 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 no. I essentially want to make shirts that are gonna like look good in ten years. Keep them vintage. I love vintage clothes. Very happy with it. Hey, what's up, guys? So we're starting a new segment of giving you guys a little backstory on each one of us. We're all gonna tell you how we got into the game of like sinkers and all that. How pretty much we ended up into this position that we're in now. Um, we've seen in the comments that you guys have been asking questions. So we're gonna try to answer them as best as possible. How'd you get into sneakers? Um, honestly, I would probably say like my my brother and a specific teacher I had uh, freshman year in high school. My brother would always, uh, my brother's five years older than me. And when it was my birthday or like Christmas or whatever, when we'd get money, uh, he would convince me to get certain Jordans that were probably like a size or two honestly too big for me but it's because he also wanted to wear them too and that made me like be really interested in like jordans and all that i was a little kid obviously i was probably like i don't know 10 years old and he was 15 at the time so at that time you would think like oh he's he's already like full into sneakers and he'd be like oh like get these uh jordan 11s or jordan 5s or whatever and i'll buy them with like my birthday money and we would share them being like oh cool but it was just doing it so he could get an, an extra pair of shoes. But that is what my, gave me attention to focus on sneakers. And then a uh, teacher that I had in high school was, uh, was my English teacher freshman year. He, by this time already, I was like always interested in like SBs and mo I was more on the skate side by then. I was like inter uh, interested in SBs, uh, Supras, Americas, like random uh, skate shoes like that. And a teacher would notice that I would always have different shoes and he's like hey like are you into sneakers this is I'm like yeah like oh there's a shop in Little Tokyo which was Riff LA or is Riff LA he's like you should go check it out and he also told me about Undefeated this is around 2005 six at the time so you know how old I am and um, I went to Riff and I seen the prices like what the hell like I was used to buying shoes at at um, retail I didn't know, like I would resell my shoes oh, to like homies in school, but I didn't know anything about like an actual resale market. And that's when I started knowing about these other shops that like dedicate like to to the sneaker culture. So when was your first time you resold a shoe? Um, what shoe was it and how much? It was, it was definitely in high school, um, probably freshman year, and it was most likely SB. Uh, and it was honestly either, if not retail, under retail, just because I mean, back in 06, 07, I mean, if the sneaker market wasn't what it is now, like, you would get, like, some Gibsons or something. You know, Gibsons weren't out at that end, but some random shoes, and you just want to move on to the next one. So, uh, like, people people didn't know where to get SBs. So, there was a sneaker uh, skate shop by my house that I would go to, and that's where I would get my SBs. I'd wear them, and then uh, friends would be like, where'd you get them? I didn't really want to, I was one of those guys I was gatekeeping at skate shops, so I was just like, uh, it's just like a shop that I know. So then I'll resell them my sneakers, and I'll use that money to go get the next release. Cool, for sure. And then when was the first time you did a camp out? And which, which store and which shoe? Um, I think, I mean, a full overnight camp out was definitely uh, full grades. That was later in, but that's because you actually had a camp out. Prior to that, you would just go in the mornings, like, Honestly, like two hours before the shop would open, I would say for as far as that, it would be the old of new love pack. I remember I did school with one of my homies, and we came in like I think after nutrition, but we went to go get old of new loves. But uh, actual overnight camp out, it was definitely cool place. That I had a camp out and it was cold, and it was a mom and pop shop that doesn't exist anymore. But again, it was like a local spot by the house. Unfortunately, a lot of mom and pop shops disappeared. But it was fun. Uh, just camped out and you would talk about sneakers, honestly, with everybody in line. Cool, and then how'd you, get, how'd you get your job at your first sneaker store? What store was it and how'd that happen? Um, I used to work at Nike Town in Beverly Hills. And 
I would always win raffles there. It was uh, anytime it was like a hype release. It was a uh, raffle base, and I would always win raffles. And then I would go to Riff because it was honestly Riff and Flight Club at the time. And I would go to Riff because that's the shop that I knew about first, and that's where I would always go. And I would always go selling my shoes. And they started mm. like seeing me around more often, and they seen that I would bring like hype shoes. And one day they they offered me a job. They're like, "Hey, do you want to?" work here and of course I'm gonna say yeah and one thing led to another and for a minute or for a good like six months I was running Nike Town and Riff and it was funny because when you work for Nike you're not supposed to be working for a competitor or anything of that nature so all my coworkers knew and they, was, they would know I was at Riff and they're like the hell are you doing but I never got told anything and eventually I just transitioned fully into Riff who hired, who hired you at Riff? who hired me at Riff? Um, it was a, it was a two. It was Jackie Jin and Ed. Jackie Jin is the one that <laughs> that told Ed about me that like, hey, um, you should get this new job. And Ed is one of the owners, and he asked me like, hey, do you want a job? Like, so on and so forth. But I think Chris talked about Jackie Jin not that long ago in a uh, previous episode. Jackie Jen is definitely a, a OG sneaker influencer. You guys don't know who that is. Look him up on IG. But. Yeah, he was one of the people that I got. It was either uh, the Riff owners or Jackie Jin that I was out shoes to. And then he just told me, like, hey, do you want to work here? And then he's like, I could probably get your job. And then Ed asked me, like, hey, do you want a job? I'm like, yep. But that's how, that's how I got in there. And then what kind of sneaker style do you have? Like, what kind of shoes do you have? Like, what's your favorite, like, everyday shoes? Like, what's your stilo? Uh, honestly, like, if you know me, uh, I'm always in bands. I really am always in bands. I've always gravitated towards the. Uh, the skate culture, uh, Jordans are definitely very uh, heavy in the skate culture, which I do wear Jordans. Uh, as far as Jordans wise, I, I love ones, threes, fours. Um, I like the more obscure shoes, honestly, too. Um, like you could ask these guys; they always make fun of me because, like, I'll be I'll be into like the weird colorways or like the weird shoe that like, oh, that's definitely a Mac shoe. Like I can see my, and at first I'll be like, "How are you talking about?" But then I'm like, "Ah, they're right. Like I'll I'll probably wear that." But um, definitely like Jordans wise, it's like ones, threes, fours. Uh, I like elevens and twelves, but they're not the most comfortable, so I definitely don't wear them that often. I'll throw them on here and there. Today I'm wearing fire and fours. Um, actually, <laughs> as far as retro, um, obviously like when I was a little little kid, I don't remember in the nineties, but white and classic green fours were like the first four that I bought myself. That like, I got myself when. I was already like a bigger kid so that's why I love four so much because that's the one like Jordan that I remember so much that I'm like all oh, like four's a bit but I also love SVs a lot um, I used to wear a lot of dunks but then that that, that uh, scene is pretty pretty heavily outdone right now so I'm just like kind of staying away from dunks but I definitely saw my fair share of dunks but Honestly, I, I don't gravitate towards one thing. Like, I'm just, I'm pretty fluid. I'll, I'll wear what I like, to be honest with you. Even if it is easy, so, or new balances. I, I really love new balances. They're really comfy. But, 80% of the time, you'll catch me in a pair of bands. If I'm going out, later that night, I'll switch into a pair of shoes. But, a lot of times, you'll catch me in vans or, um, even Birkenstocks, I know it's like a weird shoe, but like that you wouldn't consider like, oh, that's a, a shoe that one would wear like on an everyday basis. But uh, I got put into Birks and I don't take them off. They're not comfy. It's like it's like the comfier version of New Balance, like wear wise. Let us know in the comments uh, what's your favorite shoe or what's your favorite colorway of a shoe. Uh, we'd also like to know, honestly, because it's fun. I mean, like back to no, the no, 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 no. sneaker lineups like that's what you would talk about you'd be like yo like what, what like what's your favorite lebron colorway or what's your favorite kobe colorway so let us know in the comments what shoes you guys are into and what colorways is your favorite one in the shoes dc has to pay for a shoe but he has to cool. wear it gave so you guys a little background right now now it's four o'clock thursday uh, episodes live make sure you catch that yo just like clockwork <laughs> All right, so he's, the likes were very, very underwhelming. Very underwhelming. I thought he was going to get there. 
Subscribers, we're all right. We're at 1.04. We're gonna get there. We're gonna get 1.2. So now it's up to you guys. Andy. <laughs> we're gonna, if you guys get us to 1200 subscribers now, we'll do a sale for you guys. A cool sale. So, yeah, it just doesn't matter. You guys have to the end of the month to get us to 1200 subscribers. The more, the merrier. Let's do it. So, in the comments, people have been wondering what happened to the fit checks or what happened to the staff fits, whatever. So, we'll do it on the episodes. Maybe bring it back on TikTok. TikTok, we're Go heading a new cool direction with like skits and stuff like that but for today we'll start with me wearing my usual vans it's not sneakerhead saturday it's thursday um celine kurt jeans i love celine jeans i don't really wear these much but i wear my other ones a lot more syndicate museum tee syndicate museum hat Balenciaga glasses and I just got this from Justin Reed Bank Mop Bomber, it's reversible It's a bad fit But I don't care <laughs> Let us know who had the best outfit in this episode Don't vote for me, vote for the other guys, not me Alright, I'm here it's my fit today. You know, got the 1213 unstructured hat. Got the born and raised retro super future shades. 1213 shades coming soon. And we got the 1213 rider hoodie with the flames. Just gray. 1213T, obviously. Then we got the fear of swags, Nike joints. And then you already know, GG's all day. Only Italian made shoes around here. No J's, no hands. That's the fit today. <laughs> so we're gonna start off with um, obviously shout out to the homies uh, at the laboratory in Dallas. Hooked me up with this uh, gallery hoodie that I'm wearing right now. I had to change the flannel. Then I'm wearing uh, I think a pink Floyd vintage tee that I always wear. Just seeing so you know, it, undershirt and uh, Fear God Nike shorts. The same thing, always wear. And what is this? Uh, I got on like probably a little unique low socks on with the Union Dunks. Regular, you know, calm, calm day. And I think me and Andy are kind of matching a little bit. Hey, Andy, let me see your phone real quick. Oh, God damn. Who did it better? Who did it better? I'm not gonna lie, I put Manny onto these shorts. What? I ain't gonna lie, I was wearing this. He didn't come in with no hoodie on, so. <laughs> it's, like, it's like father, like son. He didn't even have a hoodie Yo. on. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Yo. All right, Sam, what's your fit check? Um, I have Trav highs. I have some cargo pants on, a vintage Lakers tee. And then I have the Dior. With the goyard, Go. <laughs> and then a uh, bandana, and that's it. <laughs> so today, I didn't know we were gonna do this, but I got a mechanics Jordan T. This LA Apparel crew neck that I got like maybe eight years ago, or whenever LA Apparel started. So washed out, but it's got a good wash to it already. Mechanics uh, running shorts. Stussy socks and fire red fours. Nothing special, but it's honestly like my everyday look. It's literally where you'll catch me in. If not, like I said, fours and probably vans, but this is it. All right, we're back with the mean comments. Here we go. Starting off strong today. All right, let's read them. Next video, put a skip line for TikTok mean comments, least favorite part of the videos. All right, well, that wraps up today's mean comments. Whatever, bro. I don't even care, bro. It's over, bro. The series is over. Y'all think that comment. Yo, so it's over? Bro, like I said, Thanks to that comment, 
And then we got another comment. Sandy is cringe as fuck. First of all, it's Andy, not Sandy. Get that fool out of here. Everybody else cool though. Alright, bro. Whatever. Whatever. The lows. The lows. Let's go. Sounds good in the moment. Very bad. Very bad time in my life. This has no one, no four, just a five. So if you have five on break, no score yet. You gotta hope for the best. Got his six and got. Hey. Still double or nothing though, honestly. If you lost, you might as well just try again. I stand by that. Exactly. What's going on, Chris? You know, ending the day, nice cool day. It's always a cool day here, I think, I hope. Um, some sales, some trades, the bangers right there on the floor. Um, hopefully they sell. I like 3500 It's not light. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's good. We're actually closing up here. And for March, we're actually doing another giveaway. We're doing a lot dunk. One through 50, which one are you getting? Who knows? Whatever size we got for you. It's kind of like Nike did it, remember? They were just shipping them out. Any color, that's what we're doing. From the 5th to the 31st, come through any transaction you run, buy, sell, trade, whatever it is, you're getting a ticket. Remember, if we don't give you the ticket, remind us, because sometimes it does slip our mind. I'll be honest, it happens sometimes. But good luck to everybody, and uh, stay tuned. Let's see how it goes. All right, guys, so we're actually wrapping it up here at Syndicate. We hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Shout out to the guys at Laboratory that came to check us out all the way from Dallas. Make sure if you guys ever want to come record, we're here on Thursdays, Saturdays recording the episode. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Roll the outro.